All right, what's up, guys? So this is a video that I promised I would make uh, quite some time ago, actually. So a little bit delayed there. But basically what this is, is this is a video on how to take your local world files like these that you've been playing on your local machine. Uh, maybe you started a server and your buddies played with you or something like that when every time you played. And now you want to move it to a dedicated uh, Valheim server. And how do you do that, right? So where are the files located and what are the steps to get that done? It's actually pretty simple. So let's just go through those steps right now. And I'm going to go ahead and bounce out of Valheim. And the first thing you're going to want to do is get a program called... Uh, actually, I guess the first thing you're going to want to do is do you have a dedicated Valheim server? So I have a video on how to do that. Installing Valheim server on a Ubuntu Linux instance. Uh, you're going to have to run it on something hardware um, separate from your desktop, I would imagine. So that way it's always on for your friends or whatever. But there's a whole guide on how to do that. And then once you have that up and running... Uh, the next thing you want to do is get a product called WinSCP so that you can copy files from your Windows box to your Linux box. And uh, it's a free product. It's pretty awesome. It's probably one of the best ones out there, actually, for Windows, for sure. So download WinSCP. You can just go to Google and search for WinSCP and then download it. So obviously, you know, just make sure you go to the right site when you're downloading stuff. Just just throwing that out there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, though, is after you get um, once you get WinSCP um, started, Connect it to your Linux instance. Um, that's actually pretty easy to do. It's just like doing an SSH session or something like that. You're just going to type in the IP address or host name if you're using DNS. And then uh, username and password that has uh, SSH ability. When you install the, your Linux instance, hopefully you installed OpenSSH so that you have SSH capabilities. Uh, so then the, the, the files, um, so the first thing you want to do is just look for the files on your local machine. And those are going to be stored under a folder called, uh, under your user folder called app data. And it's a hidden folder. So like browsing to it, you're going to be like, oh man, where the heck is app data? I don't see any app data right here. So first thing you want to do is go to options, preferences, panels, show hidden files. Or you can just hit control H apparently. Hit OK. And now it's going to show a bunch of hidden stuff. So you can see the gray ones are hidden, right? which is perfect, exactly what we want. So I want to go to App Data, Local Low. Uh, and then you want to find Iron Gate, because that's who created the Valheim game, and that's where these files are going to be stored. So we're going to go to Iron Gate, then we're going to go to Valheim, and then we're going to go to Worlds. And these are your world files. So you could have multiple world files, right? Uh, you can, just like in Minecraft or any other game out there, you can start multiple worlds. So you got to find the one that you actually want. And there's two files associated with each of those world files. As an example, like this one's called geekheadv1.db and fwl. So these are actually both of the files that I want to copy over if this was a world that I wanted to get to my Linux uh, dedicated servers. So now that I found those two files local on my uh, Windows machine, the next thing you want to do is on the remote dedicated server instance, uh, you're going to have... So say you installed it like my video that I said about the dedicated Linux Valheim server, I installed it under home Steam user. So if you have it installed the same way and it's running under the Steam user context, then this file is going to be located in the same exact location that I'm going to show you. So basically, uh, under home Steam, you have a folder called .config, so it's a hidden folder. And uh, just go ahead and go into that folder, Unity 3D, Iron Gate, Valheim, Worlds, and there you have it. So literally, you're going to want to take and copy these files across. Actually, I may not have access to do that. We might have to drop these in a different location. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. I'm going to try to upload these into the Steam folder, and I get permission to deny this. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and go back to home G, because that's who I authenticated to my Linux box. I didn't, using WinSCP, I did not authenticate using Steam. I don't know the Steam password intentionally. Uh, so I'm gonna so I authenticated it as G user instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these files into the G uh, home path. Let's just go ahead and upload those it's pretty fast. And then I'm gonna head over here to uh, the Linux console for that same server. And my present working directory is under Steam. So if I go to G, you can see I got those geekhead files right there, right? So I don't think that Steam has access to read these either. So uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these geekhead. Oops, geekhead. Oh my gosh, geekhead. Star to home Steam. Okay, let's go to home Steam. It did work. Okay, so I got 
I got those in there. So Geekhead. So now now I've copied them to to this, this Steam folder. What I wanted to actually do is move these to that config folder that I tried to upload them to previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say move Geekhead V1 star to dot slash dot. So dot means current directory, like this right here means my current directory, slash means the next folder I'm gonna to go to, so it's config, and then I can tab all the way through all these, right? Worlds. So I'm gonna move those two files into worlds. So now if I go to that dot config all the way up to worlds and I look and there you go. So now I've got geekhead v1 dot db and dot fwl in the correct folder on this on this Linux instance. Uh, just make sure that the the user and group settings are indeed what they should be matching, say, what the other files are. I mean, if this was a different user, then the Steam service may not be able to actually write to these files. So just make sure that the world files match. Uh, what we want to do next, actually, I'll just do this, is modify the start script so that it uses the correct world file now. So the world file is called geekhead v1. I don't need the db or fwl. So we're just going to go to the Valheim server. And I have a start file here called start Valheim right there. So this, this shell script is what I use on the service daemon to start Valheim server. So um, I'm going to go ahead and edit that file. And you can see the path right here basically says the Valheim server executable, the name of it that's going to display in the, the server world or the server list, and then the world, right? And um, this is what you want to paste the new world name in. So it's just going to match the name of the world like that, Geekhead V1. And that's it. And then obviously your password. This isn't my password, so so don't don't try to connect to my server. Also, I think this is interesting is that um, somebody copied my vi my Linux video tutorial and actually made the world stood up the world as Geekhead. And so if you if you've connected to a world named Geekhead with the same password that was in my video, it's not my server; it's somebody else's. But I just thought that was interesting because I wanted to point out like if you. If you follow my video, make sure you change the password for the server. Don't make it Geekhead. Make it what something custom to you. Like change this to your server name, whatever you want to be called. Don't don't copy me. Be like my awesome server name, right? And then your world file, whatever that world file is, and then your password. And it should just be totally different stuff. Don't just copy paste from everybody. Try to try to customize it to yourself. Um, so I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to right quit. And um, that's basically literally it. So uh, a couple things to keep in mind, like when you change the world file, it's probably a good idea to stop your service first. So like if you had a, if you did it the way I did it, you would say stop Valheim server. Um, and then and then modify that shell script. And then you could start the server back up and it should open and run with the uh, world file that you just copied over. So um, so I, that's it. That's all I was going to do for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can get the file from your Windows um, desktop to your dedicated Linux server. And I hope this video was at least somewhat helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.